Dear colleagues, dear participants of the first international conference on migration and gender issues, Kamaji uh, 2021, welcome to Alfred Nobel University. Before we get started, uh, I would like to express my sincere appreciation to all partners of the first international conference on migration and gender issues who helped us to make um, this event to become, to become uh, a success. But the greatest respect and my sincere graduate is uh, to Professor Dr. Manoj Dixit, head of the Department of Public Administration, University of Lakshnau, India, and Prof. Dr. Saurabh Chandra, Managing Director of IPARN Foundation, India. You are the heart uh, and brain of Kamaji 2021. It couldn't have taken place without you. To distinguish your contribution, Alfred Nobel University uh, Academic uh, Council um, uh, has made a decision to Professor uh, Dr. Manoj Dixit and Dr. Saurabh Chandra with the special award and order for research leadership. I am. Uh, Thank you. I am happy that the first international conference on migration and gender issues becomes a multinational platform for fruitful exchange of ideas and extremely important issues, which are discussed by researchers, politicians uh, and community leaders from India, Turkey, Portugal, Serbia, Germany, Ukraine, Finland, Moldova. And I am extremely delighted delighted to uh, hold such a prominent event at Alfred Nobel University. Alfred Nobel University is a, a leading private university in Ukraine, working interna internationally with, with partners from Poland, France, USA, Turkey, Ghana, Germany, Spain, Georgia, India, South Korea, Israel, Great Britain, which enriches us to motivate us to develop. And the mission of the university is to promote educational and scientific values of 21st century to develop European and world integration of Ukraine. The idea of uh, the mission uh, fits the slogan education for life, education through life. Alfred Nobel University is the single university in Ukraine to have international accreditation of study programs and system of management. Our MBA program is accredited by the European Council for Business Education, EGBI, Belgium, and 25 study programs are accredited by ZEVA Accreditation Agency. Currently, we are in the process of AACSB Accreditation USA. I share these facts not only to boost, to boost Alfred Nobel University achievements, but also to show that we are not newcomers in solving gender issues, as all accreditations we go through, all international projects we implement make us uh, think about and uh, work on diversity, diversity and gender balance. Without any doubts, uh, we can say that gender equality is associated with uh, fundamental needs for the normal development of, our, of any country and international society in general. The international community has realized that these issues are significant for over 50 years and have developed forms of legal regulation in different conventions, protocols and agreements. According to these forms of regulation, most states are implement, uh, implementing these principles in national legislation and social life. However, Proclaiming gender equality, the Jure does not guarantee, uh, does not guarantee this, uh, these issues are resolved de facto within states. There are different explanations of this situation, both objective and subjective. Some of them are such as uh, culture factors, economic factors, and a lack of desire for their own citizens to receive equal treatment. In this respect, uh, Ukraine has so far not been largely successful, although has made positive steps and doesn't have the worst record on these issues. 
Since the start of the uh, 21st um, century, this gender equality issue started to become more important. Ukraine adopted a new law, uh, a new law on uh, ensuring um, equal rights and opportunities for women and men, among others. Recently, a new wave of gender equality issues has uh, arisen. A new Ukrainian law on prevention and tracking, uh, uh, tackling domestic violence has been introduced. The Institute of Gender um, Authority uh, has been established, which promotes the ratification process uh, of, his, of the Istanbul Conference to Ukraine standards and implements international standards on gender equality. National Action Plan was developed and approved in September 2019, 2018 to implement uh, recommendation uh, of the UN Committee uh, to the um, uh, elimination of discrimination against women concern its complaints with the Convention of the Elimination of All Form of Discrimination Against Women through 2021. In recent years, it's, uh, it is obvious that for the implementation of gender equality, it is not enough to pass certain legislation only. It requires a long-term transformation of the public policy and social stereotypes. Despite the, uh, prev the, the prevailing um, understanding of gender equality as one very important value and principle in a contemporary world, Still, men and women take different roles in the field of higher education and science. Despite positive changes achieved in recent years, the low presence, presence of women uh, can be noticed in the highest academic position in universities. It proves the existence of a glass ceiling uh, that is invisible barriers based on gender pre produce, <coughs> pre prejudice started um, stated by European Parliament in 2015. Female uh, graduates, despite being the majority of uh, bachelor and master co uh, courses, are less likely uh, than men uh, to secure graduate level jobs and usually earn less than men six months after graduation. According to the report of European University Association, universities are still male-dominated institution, institutions. Currently, 12% uh, of rectors among the 47 EUA member countries are female, compared to 88% of male rectors. In the 28 EU uh, member states, only 21% of rectors are female. However, the figure of female vice rector are more uplifting. Some EUA member countries do have gender parity, like Latvia, Croatia, and Norway. While in Ukraine, vice rector are mostly males. Women's progress and uh, advanced uh, in academia at, uh, and work are also complicated by traditional belief, beliefs about gender roles. Studies by Hong Kong women, for example, suggest that women are in conflict about choice of their multiple roles in, as mother, daughters, professional and wise. Many women feel guilt for working instead of caring for their families uh, and as a result adjust their career and lifestyle expectation according to their family demands, disregarding their own interests. This double burden prevents, uh, pre prevents them from advancing to senior roles. The challenge won't uh, simply go away and the glass ceiling won't be broken just uh, because there are more women in university spaces. The issues of uh, leadership at universities should be addressed uh, through policies that promote that recru recruitment of women of management position. The University of Hong Kong, for example, use compulsory diversity to increase the uh, proportion of women in DLL position from 9% to 26%. The University of Nagoya in Japan will have women-only jobs uh, with, uh, with the aim of 75% increase in women and senior faculty positions.
At Alfred Nobel University, we understand that importance of gender issues and we implement gender equality not only declaratively, meeting the National Action Plan, Constitution and gender legislation, but also practically promoting women's leadership. All four vice rector positions have been taken by women since 2019. That is our contribution to, to the National Action Plan implementation. I would be happy if I had nothing uh, to say about another issue as raised uh, within our conference, a uh, topic uh, which is migration, but Russian military aggression uh, constitutes um, uh, a significant humanitarian crisis for Ukraine and Dnipro region, with at least 1.7 million internally uh, displaced persons. Two-thirds of internally displaced persons, according to UN reports, are women who are at risk of gender-based violence. Alfred Nobel University has also been affected by the conflict directly. From one side, we, our international activity suffered as uh, our partners were afraid to keep uh, term with us and all projects were temporarily wind up. From another side, we faced, we faced the team of EDIPS um, in our city uh, and took part in the EDIPS adaptation through education. So, we are the right place for the first international con conference on migration and gender issues to be, to be held. We are sure that experts on gender and migration issues have a lot of ideas to share. We hope that during the first international conference on migration and gender issues, we will be able to exchange the best practices in, in enduring gender equality and human rights of migration and uh, internally displaced persons, not only in political and economic share, uh, spheres, but also in the social and cultural ones. To this end, it is necessary to widen the number of experts involved into migration and gender issues with the annual experts, seminars, roundtable discussions and international conference and draw on specialists who professionally deal with the discussed topic uh, on their countries. It would also be useful to exchange, be exchange best practices on the, first, on the institutional level for the promotion of gender equality, migrants' rights protection in different countries. Dear colleagues, our fruitful work during conference and collection of abstracts should make a significant contribution to research the global transformation of paradigm to treat migration and gender issues responsibility, to work out and analyze uh, scenarios uh, of possible developments and strengthen uh, the the potential of the science and research to find out an optimal solution for migration and gender issues. I sincerely hope you will enjoy these two days of debate and networking. Thank you for your participation. Wish you good health, breakthrough ideas, efficient networking and new friends for future fruitful cooperation. Thank you. Thank you.